In conclusion, it might be stated that community collaboration dramatically reduces consumption, spending and pollution, allowing to approach each other searching for common solutions to shared problems. An important question is left. Is sharing powerful enough to control climate change? The answer is controversial. Many jump quickly to say it is not. Enthusiasts immediately say yes. For sake of objectivity, several conditions must be taken in consideration. But to answer quickly, this kind of question needs the answer to be yes. This new approach to human development is powerful enough to have an effect on climate change trends, and no, it is not enough to control climate change on its own. Climate change is so big, it requires the efforts of many or all people, at many levels. Let's take a look at this in detail. Skeptical people will wonder if sharing has the power to affect climate change. To shed light into this discussion, let's review the indirect greenhouse gas emissions which are generated when entities of our society use services and goods recognized by the World Resources Institute and the Carbon Trust. One. Extraction and production of purchase materials and fuels. 2. Transport related activities in vehicles not owned or controlled by you. 3. Electricity related activities. 4. Waste generated and its disposal. 5. Outsourced activities. 6 etc. Sharing goods using internet resources reduces the amount of goods consumption. Reduction is the first step in the strategy to curve down consumption and finally pollution. Sharing and lending stuff for a financial gain is a good strategy against underuse of products. Reusing is the second step towards a zero waste goal. It seems most or all indirect sources of pollution are reduced when we share. The reduction is even larger if we exercise community collaboration. If these theoretical assumptions are correct, then sharing sets us in a good track towards controlling pollution. The peer-to-peer -peer rental argument that has been argued that peer-to-peer -peer rental can only work while the population has universal internet access. The problem is developing countries typically lack of it. Therefore sharing will work towards sustainability on developed countries only. The earlier assumption has some flaws. One. Peer-to-peer -peer renting is not the only activity the sharing economy relies on. 2. Consumption in developed countries is typically higher than that of developing ones. 3. The greenhouse gases production on developed nations is significant, therefore, even if peer-to-peer -peer rental was the only support of the sharing economy which is not and if it affected developed countries only, it is powerful enough to affect climate change. Future Trends This new system has the potential to significantly reduce our carbon footprint. Still, everybody agrees. Potential is not equal to real actions or conditions. This system will not build itself to be everything we need. While serious studies and literature about this topic are still scarce, 
Its development is driven by economical needs from society. Taking advantage of this momentum, to drive this movement towards the best possible direction, must be a conscious, active exercise to yield the best results.